Chelsea set up a UEFA Champions League semi-final against holders Barcelona after they beat 10-man Benfica at Stamford Bridge. It's the sixth time in the last nine seasons the London sides have qualified for the last four of the competition. After winning the first leg 1-0 in Lisbon, a first-half Frank Lampard penalty put Chelsea further ahead on aggregate. Things appeared to get better for Roberto Di Matteo's men after Benfica's Maxi Pereira was sent off. But with five minutes left, Javi Garcia equalised on the night to set up a tense finish. However, Raul Moraes finally ended the tie, firing past Artem Moraes in the dying moments. We expected a, a difficult game, a hard game, and uh, we, it exactly proved, proved that tonight. We probably uh, made it a little bit more difficult for ourselves by not scoring the second goal, especially in the second half with all those chances. And they, they kept them alive and you know, kept their hope in, uh, by scoring a goal that they would still be in. I think uh, it would be exciting to play two games against uh, uh, probably one of the best teams in the world. Uh, we, will, uh, we will find a strategy that will suit our players and our team to face Barcelona. They obviously have uh, some individual players that um, are a big threat and, and very dangerous, but we also have to play our game and play to, to our strength. Real Madrid marched into the semi-finals after thrashing Apoel Nicosia 5-2 at the Bernabeu. Cristiano Ronaldo got another two goals to take his tally to the season to 54. The world's two most expensive players, Ronaldo and Kaká, gave Real a two-goal lead at the break. Gustavo Manduca pulled one back for the Cypriots, but Ronaldo got his second and Jose Calleon made it 4-1 on the night. An Esteban Solari penalty threatens to make the scoreline respectable for Apoel, but Angel Di Maria got Madrid's fifth late on. Madrid can have had few easier passages into the Champions League last four. Nos otros y Bayern, una semifinal que yo espero muy, muy equilibrada. Between Bayern and us, I expect a very balanced semifinal. We are two good, strong teams that are playing well. Bayern are motivated to play the final at home. Extra de jugar o de poder jugar la final en su casa. Real Madrid que llega dos. Real Madrid have got to the semis for two years in a row, and it's normal that if you didn't get to the final in the first try, the players would have more motivation to get there the second time. Que la gente tenga una motivación extra de intentar llegar la segunda. So, just a reminder of the semi final lineup. It's Bayern Munich against Real Madrid with the first leg in Germany on the 17th of April. And the day later, it's Chelsea against Barcelona with the first leg in London 